Back in follow-up segment tonight, legalized pot. Colorado says it collected $2 million off pot sales in January, the first month of legalization out there. But I believe the amount of damage being done to Coloradans in the form of addiction, driving problems, other social ills, will cost that state far more than it's taking in. Of course, I could be wrong. Joining us now from Washington, Patrick Kennedy, former congressman from Rhode Island. And here in New York, Christopher Kennedy Lawford, author of the book, What Addicts Know, 10 Lessons from Recovery to Benefit Everyone. Both men were substance abusers at one time. So, Mr. Kennedy, I understand you're against the legalization of marijuana. Why? Well, I have a mood disorder, and I'm also in recovery because I'm also an addict. And with another drug being commercialized, one that actually has the for-profit motive of, of hooking new consumers, uh, they're going to target teenagers, they're going to make their money off of people like myself who are addicts, and I just don't think this is the kind of thing that makes our country stronger, our family stronger, and of course jeopardizes the public health at Okay, large, but the like pro-pot people say it's not addictive, it's harmless, less harmful than alcohol, and it's unfair to have alcohol legal and pot not. And you you say? I say two wrongs don't make a right. And, uh, and the marijuana today is in, in beverage form. It's in candy form. You can eat it. Now, I was an asthmatic, so I didn't go down the road of, route, route of marijuana. But if it were available to me today and I could have eaten it like they can out in Colorado, it would have been a totally different game. So this is a scary thing. People think this is a smoking couple joints every other weekend. This is a no, whole new commercial industry. And that's what it should frighten people, is their profit motive will be to marketing this. We want demand reduction, and yet this is going to be increasing the demand for addictive substance. Okay. That's my problem with now, it. Now, Mr. Lawford, you, you're uh, kind of a libertarian kind of guy, all right, but you are against the legalization of marijuana as well? Well, I'm primarily against it because of what it might do to our young people. The two most damaging drugs on the planet are both legal, alcohol and nicotine. We don't need another legal drug. Legalization will increase prevalence. Our, our youth are at risk. We have studies that demonstrate not only the addictive capabilities of marijuana, but the difficulty in treating people who are addicted to marijuana. One in six young people smoke it chronically. Chronic use of marijuana obliterates ambition and leads to potential psychosis, all sorts of mood disorders. It's not a good drug. It's not a good a matter of policy to legalize. Okay. Now, both of you guys are Democrats and, and fairly liberal. I, I mean, I don't know your politics as, as uh, precisely as I should, perhaps, but the liberal wing, Mr. Lawford, are, they're the ones that are driving the legalization, all right? So you see in Colorado, for example, it breaks down, and there are libertarians. You know, it's Absolutely. not all. There yeah. are libertarians say, okay. But why does the left so fervently want this well, substance? The Is it Woodstock? Does it go no, back no, there? No, medical marijuana was the initial way, way that's into what, that's this thing. I know, stuff. I understand that. And George Soros pushed this thing primarily right. because of the inner city. That, that, and, and it's true, young um, African-American males are getting targeted by police departments in the inner city in terms of arrest to show cops how to, process, how to, how to do drug busts, basically. That's, legalization is not the answer to that issue. All right, so that's that, why you think that the, that the left, do you concur, I think the, Mr. Yeah. Kennedy, you think it was a, a racial, social issue that yeah, drove the left driven. to want it? Yes, I think it's driven by the racial issue. And keep in mind, uh, African Americans, minorities, are discriminated against throughout the justice system. So just by you know, legalizing this, you're not going to get rid of the discrimination in the application of laws in this country. We should address that and make it a separate issue, not conflate um, addressing incarceration with de decriminalization and legalization. Okay, but I will point out to both of you, and, and you both made very good points tonight, but I have to run, that the uh, neighborhoods that have been most impacted by drug addiction in this country have been black neighborhoods, all right? That we know of. We don't know. Well, they it's, it's, have been. They, and that crack epidemic, when all of those mandatories were put in, that wiped out a generation. Uh, and that's why that's it was correct. there. I don't think that, and, I don't think Bill, it, Go there ahead. are eight times as many liquor stores in minority neighborhoods than there are in white you got neighborhoods. It. You got and it. the same thing is going to happen with legalized marijuana. It's going to target you know, the most vulnerable in our country. Excellent point. I, I, I can't thank you guys enough for coming in. Thanks, and Bill. You guys, Thanks, in, Bill. excellent points. Thanks, Bill.